Hi there and welcome to my tutorial on how to make ringtones, iMessage tones and alert tones for the iPad, iPod and iPhone using a Apple Mac computer. Beep, beep. So in order to make ringtones you need to get the audio from somewhere. I find the easiest way to get the audio is from YouTube and I've selected this video clip here from Macklemore and you'll notice that there's nowhere to download so be able to do that you need to install easy video YouTube downloader simply install the downloader okay so I've just installed easy YouTube video downloader and I'll do a quick refresh and you'll see here that it now pops up underneath the video clip just in this section here. So all we need to do now to create our ringtone is to download the piece of audio and we use select mp3 128k click here and now it's downloading so the mp3 is now saved under downloads here it is here so now what we want to do is open up GarageBand <laughs> So with GarageBand open, we select New Projects, then we select Loops, and then we name our song as Macklemore Can't Hold Us, hit Create. And then we need to drag the MP3 into GarageBand. And then we turn off the metronome just here, because it's rather annoying. I'll show you what it does. So we turn that off just by clicking that button there. So with the selected music loaded into GarageBand, what we need to do is select our section of music that's going to be suitable for our ringtone. And I've selected this section right here. Now for ringtones, all you need is around about 10 to 12 seconds of audio. So I'm going to cut that from around about here. And all we have to do is highlight this section here. And then we click Command and T. Okay, so this is the section we want to keep, and we want to delete that section. I like to have the audio right back to the start of the playhead, and then we can see exactly how long our piece of audio is. Okay, so we want this section here, and we're going to finish around about here somewhere. Okay, that's suitable right there. Again, Control T, and then that section there we don't need, so we just delete that. So that's our 13 second ringtone. So let's have a quick listen to the ringtone. Okay, so that's perfect. Now we need to transfer this into iTunes, so what we need to do is go up to share, send ringtone to iTunes, it'll come up with this message here, just click adjust and move that there to the end of the clip and then do the same thing again sync to ringtones and it will now open up into iTunes so now we need to make our message tone and I've chosen that we are going to use Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond and this is the section where he jumps off the bed and screams it out So just like last time, we download. And just like before, we need to go into GarageBand, click on New Project, click on Loops. We need to name our message tone, which is going to be Buzz Lightyear. Click Create. And then we need to import that MP3 into GarageBand. You need to turn off the metronome just like before because it's annoying and then you need to select what part of the audio we're going to use for the message so start about here command t 
and then highlight command T so this is the section here we're going to keep and this section here we're going to delete and that section we're going to delete move it right to the start again we need to now send that to iTunes so go up to share send to ringtones adjust and put it just uh, just at the end of the clip select send to ringtones in iTunes again and now that's in iTunes this is Optimus Prime do you read me so now that we're in iTunes go into tones and you'll see that there's our Buzz Lightyear and there's our Macklemore click onto phone and they're not there at the moment because we haven't synced it. So what you need to do is go over to sync. All we need to do now is go into our iPhone and you'll find that the ringtone has now been copied over. To infinity and beyond. Okay, so that's uh, now located on my iPhone. So that's all complete. You should have a new ringtone and message tone for your devices. I hope this tutorial has been worthwhile for you. This is my first ever YouTube tutorial. So if you've got any comments, please write them below. Please like my video if this has helped you in any way at all. And remember to share my video on Facebook. Thanks guys, see you soon. Boys!